Shalom family. It's good to see you all here. We're going to give it a few moments um, to let people come in. And by the way, respond. First of all, I looked at that scripture. That scripture does not prove that the earth does not spin. So I, I, I don't know. You know, it, it, as soon as I put videos up, you naysayers always come in and I will not be moved. Let me just put that to you. That scripture does not prove that the earth does not rotate. So you can miss me with all of that. All right, y'all, I'm going to put myself on mute. Um, there is something I have to do very quickly and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. Shalom to everybody in the chat. It's good to see you all. And I just want to go over something that recently came out. All right. And we're going to talk about this because a lot of biblical prophecy is coming to pass each and every day. We are seeing this and it's funny how the Gentiles are still off in La La Land, <laughs> as Deborah Yah will say, and nothing they're saying is adding up. And it's funny how people will still say the Bible is the white man's book, but they don't listen to this man to even realize he doesn't really understand the book. It can't be his book. He can't even prophesize things that are happening that you're looking at today. He can't even get that right. If you can't get that right, then it's not your book. How is it your book? So we're going to talk about a recent story that came out about a day ago. And this is about the earth rotation speeding up. So you got to think about the signs and wonders. Now, remember, the signs and wonders are not going to just be in the heavens. Some of those signs and wonders will be right here on earth that you will witness yourself. So this is definitely one of those things. Now, they always told us one rotation takes 24 hours, right? So that's how they always estimated 
24 hours a day by the times the earth rotate in one day. And that's usually 24 hours to do a full rotation. So if that rotation is less than 24 hours, then that means the days would have to be become, the days would become shorter. Okay. So, and if you remember, if you go to that scripture I put in the title, it talks about the days being shorter. And, you know, our Heavenly Father is speeding up things to get this entire subjugation that we're under over. So it is something worth looking at. It is something that is very prophetic that's happening. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you a video. This video is from CBS. All right. There are a lot of things going on on this planet. I looked at an article before I came on here and it was saying over in Europe, a hundred thousand people have died just from the heat wave. And this summer is not even over. And I looked up their temperature today. They're uh, over in certain parts of Europe. They're 111 degrees. Now, just remember, ladies and gentlemen, many of those folks did not have air conditioning. I lived over in Europe for a bit. And most of the homes did not have air conditioning because their summers rarely went past 80 degrees. It used to be in the 80s. That would be probably the warmest days they would get. Not anymore. It's not like that. And, and just think about it. The heat wave itself is another sign and wonder that's going on on the earth. And you got hundreds of people that have died in the U.S. And we're going through another heat wave as I speak, in my state, we're going to go up to 99. And there are still many people hitting triple digits around the U.S. And you're looking at the floods. It's just so many things going on. And now I also saw an article earlier this morning saying it's going to be a tough winter in the u.s and that usually goes hand in hand if you have like a lot of heat waves and it's a very hot summer usually your winter will be pretty treacherous and they're already putting the warnings out there that it's going to be a tough winter in the u.s locations that are not used to the cold will feel the cold you will feel the cold and again those rough winters nationwide that's another sign and wonder that's going on. So let me get to this video because I really want to show this to you. All right, let me go ahead and share my screen and we will get on with the video. All right, let me know if you can see my screen by giving me a one. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's get started. All right, this is um, this is a video from CBS News that came out on the 3rd of August. This 29th of February, Jeff Glor of CBS This Morning Saturday has a story for us. And we must say it's about time. Since the beginning, humankind has been obsessed with tracking time. And nearly every civilization has tried to squeeze that time into an accurate calendar. But for thousands of years, we were missing one crucial element. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping. The leap year. I think that time is very confusing sometimes when you have to think about it. Jackie Faraday is an astrophysicist at the American Museum of Natural History's Hayden Planetarium in New York City. When people think about the day, February 29th, what should they think about? We're placing 
a human construct around what is an astronomical phenomenon of the Earth moving around the sun. The calendar we use includes leap years because of how long it really takes the Earth to orbit the sun, which is not 365 days. It's about 365 and a quarter. The Julian calendar in 46 BC was the first to add a leap day every four years, but it still wasn't quite right. That led to the Gregorian calendar, which set the leap year pattern we've used since the 16th century. But some think it's high time for another big change. You guys have been working on this calendar for how long? Decades. And so far, nada. Enter Dick Henry and Steve Hankey, professors at Johns Hopkins University and the biggest current backers of a brand new calendar, one that eliminates leap years and also standardizes the days and weeks to always be the same each year. January 1 is always on a Monday, forever. 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 In addition to starting every year on a Monday, the Hanky Henry permanent calendar would also set your birthday and the holidays to the same day of the week every year, except October 31st, which along with all Friday the 13th would vanish. In place of leap years, every five or six years, an extra week is inserted at the end of December, sort of an extended Christmas vacation. There's no such thing as a perfect calendar. You just think this is better than what we have now. Ours is very close to perfect. We have current calendar every year. The thing jerks around by a day or two. But aren't quirks and, and eccentricities part of the human existence? We could make things worse and then you'd be happier. Calendar changes people I think are resistant to because of what it means from the infrastructure of how we all live our lives. The Earth doesn't really care what day you call it. It's going around the sun, doing the thing it always does. In New York City, Jeff Glor, CBS News. All right, y'all. Um, as you can see, on this 29th, of all right, February, hold on, Jeff let me get Glor rid of, of this. CBS this morning, Saturday. All right, let me get rid of that. All right, so as you can see, these folks are still playing with time. Do you notice that? But see, them playing with time is not going to change their judgment their judgment is still going to happen. It doesn't matter if they come up with a new calendar. Who cares about their calendar? Okay. Um, thank you, Loveline Turner, for the super chat. Shalom, Lisa. Peace, everyone. Lisa, uh, it just jumped past me. Chat is just going fast. Okay. Shalom, Lisa. Peace, everyone. Lisa, keep it coming. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Loveline. So them playing around with the calendar does not change their fate. It does not change the judgment that's coming upon them. And it will not change the times that we are in. We are in the, the final days. And making new calendars and implement, that's not going to do anything for them. It's not going to change the inevitable. But you know, I'm sure many of you did not know they are ultimately trying to come up with a new calendar and then implement that new calendar on us. And, you know, there is nothing wrong with the way our Heavenly Father set things up. And when they make these new calendars and playing around with time, they're actually trying to say, well, he is flawed because it should be this way, the way that we're saying. That's what they're doing. They're saying that he's flawed. And the way they're coming up with things is the right way of doing things. And I will never accept that. I will never accept that. This earth has been here for uncountless years without their input, without their help. So our father don't need no help from them as far as time and, and calendars and things. Tommy, no doubt. Thank you so much for the super sticker. So that's what they're saying. The way he did it is not good enough. We have to tweak it. We have to make changes. We have to do this and that in order for it to be perfect. And that is absolutely false.
Mm -hmm. You know, this is all attributed to the fact that they don't want to relinquish their rulership on this earth. But they're going to have to relinquish it. Whether they like it or not, they're going to have to do it. And that's why it will happen, but it will happen by force. Because you can see they're not going to willingly go. They're going to have to be pushed out. But it absolutely means that. It means that time is speeding up and that is prophesized that it would happen. So I guess they're trying to make changes so that you won't see what is going on. But we all know what's going on, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and the closer we get to the end, the more they're going to be doing the most. We, we should expect that. We should all expect it. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. You know, um, Maliki, you, you can't. You're right. You can't manipulate anything like that. But in their minds, they think, you know, they can do anything. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, y'all. I wasn't going to keep you long, but I just wanted you to see what they published. Now, um, CBS News is one of many publications. If you go out and research this on your own, is one of many publications that have put this story out. Yes. Yes. So y'all have a wonderful day. I'm not going to keep you long. And, you know, just think about the times that we are in. At this stage, it, it sure won't be too much longer. Yes, we're going to have to live out, you know, <laughs> we're going to have to live this out until we get to the very end. So the only thing we need to do is keep enduring. And we sh at this point, we should all be willing to do that. That's the least we can do. You lost your wrench. You two blocked me off of you. Okay, I I'll try to fix that. Onika, if you can give me your channel URL, just go over to your community tab and your first tab, when you look up, you should see your URL. Just send that to me and I'll make sure you get your wrench back. This is YouTube. I have not taken anybody's wrench away. This is definitely YouTube playing games again. I, I almost every week I I'm being told people are unsubscribed. Um, I, I've seen people, they're making comments and their comments are not making it. And I think sometimes people are under the impression that I'm doing these things and I'm not. This is definitely YouTube doing these things without a shadow of a doubt. You know, I've been shadow banned, y'all, since 2018. Since the first time I took YouTube to court. I've been shadow banned all this time. So if you're not getting notifications or you're putting comments in and you don't see your comments and all, please don't assume it's always me. It's not. You know, they've been doing this for a very long time on my channel. So I will make sure you get your wrench back. Just make sure you email me with your channel information and I'll make sure you get it back. All right, y'all. I want to thank you all for coming. And I pray each and every day that the Most High keeps his most strongest and permanent
protection around each and every one of you always. Shalom, family.